Hey teachers, in this video I am excited to share one of my favorite new teaching tools with you, Wheel of Names. Now before we get into it, I would love it if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel. We create all of this content here on my channel for free and by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it enables us to keep producing free content for all of you. So now let's get into it. If you're unfamiliar with Wheel of Names, Wheel of Names is an online virtual spinner. So you can use it for games, you can use it for randomly selecting students to answer questions, or to assign groups, there's literally tons and tons of things that you can use it for. And I know that there are a lot of other virtual spinners out there. We've covered Flippity before here on this channel, but Wheel of Names has quickly become one of my favorites. And a few reasons for that is Wheel of Names is very customizable. You can include colors, you can do all kinds of settings, sounds, a lot of really fun stuff, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. I also really like that you can use whole sentences on it. So if you want to assign writing prompts or something a little more detailed than just a single name, you can also do that as well. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer. I am going to show you how to create your wheel, how to use the wheel, and then I'm going to show you how to use some of the more advanced settings so that you can really customize it to meet the needs of you and your students. Okay, so this is what it is going to look like when you get to Wheel of Names. And the first thing I suggest that you do is go ahead and close out the ad so you don't have any ads appearing. The next thing I want to encourage you to do is to go ahead and create your account so that way you can save your wheels. And to create an account, just click on save up here and then it is going to walk you through the process of linking your Google account so that way you can save all of your wheels and every time you come back to this site, all of your wheels will be there. And if I click on open, you can actually see I've already created an account, so all these wheels that I've created before are saved here for me, which is super helpful. Now, to create your wheel, it's gonna be so easy. You'll see it has options here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those out, and let's say I wanna add my own student names in. All I'm going to do is I'm gonna type a student name, then click Enter. I'll type in another student name, and you just want to make sure that each item, whether it's one word, whether it's a sentence, whatever the item is, you want to make sure that it's on its own line. So I'm going to go ahead and add several students' names here. All right, so I'm gonna stop with 15, but you can actually add hundreds of different items here if you needed to. I don't really know why you'd need to add hundreds, but it is an option. Now, I also wanna show you something really cool. If you teach younger students or maybe students with special needs and you need something a little more visual, you can actually click on add image and pull up an image from your computer and make your board more visual. You can see that I clicked on add image and it added a picture of me to the board and that picture is also here. You can also delete anything at any time, just hit the backspace and delete it. But that's how you're going to create your board and then to make your board work, all you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it so that it spins and it will stop on a name And when it does that, that name will appear. Um, and I will show you in just a second how to change the settings so that you can have confetti or music or all kinds of things appear when it selects a name. Now, when you do this, you have two options. You can either remove that name from the board. So let's say I wanna make sure that every student gets a turn. So I can remove Kyle's name from the board so that way it doesn't pick him again. Or if I want to keep him on the board, I'm just gonna click close. Now, just so you know, if you remove a name from the board, it does not permanently remove them from this spinner. When you come back to this spinner at another time, Kyle's name will still be there. It's just if you want to remove it for right now. But I'm just going to click close. And let's say you closed out too quickly and you forgot whose name appeared. You can come up here to results and it will actually create a list of everything that's been spun in the order that it's been spun. So you can check that at any time. 
Now I also mentioned to you that I will show you some ways that you can customize your board and you're just going to click customize here at the top of the screen. And there's all kinds of things. I recommend that you go through this very carefully because there's just a lot of things that you can do to make this even more fun. Um, I have a ticking sound that comes up, but you can change all kinds of sounds when you're spinning. Like if it's a Halloween board, you can do spooky music. There's all kinds of things and you can preview what it sounds like by clicking the play button. So that's a way for you to preview it allow duplicates on the wheel so if you have student with more if you have more than one student with the same name you can have their name on there multiple times you can do this if you want it to spin a little bit slower now i like to change the spin time because 10 seconds is a lot you want enough to get the students excited without it being too long usually i set it to between three and five seconds and i find that that works really well and as i mentioned to you previously you can add hundreds of names or items to your wheel and you can change this to the maximum number allowed i usually don't touch this because I am not going to sit here and type 500 items into the board, that's for sure. Now you can click on after spin and this is going to allow you to decide what happens afterwards. So once again, you can change the sound. I had an applause sound that came up. Um, I also like the launch confetti but you can take that away if you don't like it. Auto remove, so remember I showed you, you can click to remove a name if you want. If you just want it to automatically remove a name, you're gonna turn this on. And the other thing that's helpful is, for example, when I spun the board, you saw it said, we have a winner and it had Kyle's name. Depending on what you're using this for, you may or may not want it to say, we have a winner. You might just want it to say student and then have the student's name appear. Or if you're using this for a certain thing, let's say you're randomly selecting a writing prompt, you might have it say today's writing prompt. So you can customize that based on what your spinner is for. The next thing is one of my favorites, and this is the colors. It comes with custom categories, so you could maybe pick one and it will come up with different colors for you. Or if you have the RBG codes for certain colors that you like to use in your classroom all the time, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and put my Vestal's 21st Century colors in here using my RBG codes. And I have four colors that I use with Vestal's 21st Century Classroom, so I'm just going to use four and then unclick these other ones. You can also change the background color. I just like keeping it either white or black, something that's not too distracting. And the last thing you can do is click on image. You'll notice that in the center of the wheel, it's just a white circle, but if you want to change that, you can actually upload a custom image. But that is what I'm gonna do. You can see that now my colors are a part of the board and I have customized it for my class and the colors that they're going to see all the time. Now, just a few other things to note. When you're ready to save your board, just click save. Remember, you do need an account to do that and you're just gonna name it. So I'm gonna say in-person students. And now anytime that I want to open that board, I can just come back here and click open and you'll see that in-person students is there and I can click open at any time. You can also share this by clicking up here. It will allow you to share your board really with anybody. So maybe you have a board that you have created that goes with a certain digital activity. So then you can share the spinner with students and students can use the spinner independently. You could also share it with a substitute teacher or a co-teacher so that way they can access it as well. If the bright colors are too much for you, you can switch to dark mode at any time. And full screen is gonna do exactly what you think. It's just gonna bring it up full screen. And the last thing that I want to make you aware of is you can see that up here it says English. Now when I first saw this, I thought, okay, cool, it's gonna translate my spinner for me and it's gonna translate everything for me, but that is not the case. You'll see if I switch it over to Spanish, everything that I've typed in is still in English or whatever language that I typed it, but anything that Wheel of Names creates, it translates to Spanish. So you'll see that the text around it changes Change to Spanish, the text here and here changed to Spanish, um, here it's Spanish, but everything that I've typed stays in English. So I just want you to be aware of that so that way you don't expect it to translate 
everything that you've done as well. But those are the basics of using Wheel of Names. So hopefully you see why Wheel of Names has quickly become one of my favorite virtual spinners. And I've mentioned before on this channel that Flippity used to be one of my favorite virtual spinners, but I want to tell you a little bit more about why I like Wheel of Names best. I like Wheel of Names because it is a lot easier to set up than Flippity. If you've watched the Flippity video or you've used Flippity, you know that you have to create everything in a spreadsheet and then transfer that over to the spinner. So there's a lot more steps involved. I also like that Wheel of Names lets you customize colors and sounds and just really personalize it, whereas you can't do that with Flippity. Really the only downside to Wheel of Names that I can find is the ads, but luckily they are pretty easy to close out. So let me know what you think. Have you tried out Wheel of Names or are you using another virtual spinner? Let me know down in the comments. And then like I mentioned earlier, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Not only do you help us to grow, but we're also going to be releasing seen another video here soon on the channel where I'm going to talk about lots and lots of different ways that you can use virtual spinners with your classroom if you're looking for some new ideas. So until next time, happy teaching!